Let me ask Rich a quick question. It kind of segues right into our next topic. Uh, you know, your impressions overall of the Xbox One, the UI, you know, how games load up, you know, your overall feeling, you know, in a generalized statement of how you feel about Xbox One right now, now that you own one. Well, I will say uh, I have some very early impressions. We'll make that very clear right now. But I would say, yeah, the UI is very similar to how the Xbox 360 is. Um, I mean, I actually set up everything the way that they instructed. Also with the cable box as well. And I can tell you that that, that works just as good as it's advertised. Because, you know, I can just say, I'm not going to say it now because I don't want to watch TV right now, but I could just say the command and I'll be able to watch TV if I wanted to. Um, but so far, I mean, it's great. Uh, you know, I downloaded Killer Instinct. That took a little bit of time. I was already forewarned that Rise is going to take a long time, so, you know, to be prepared for that. But so far, I have no real, no real complaints. It's pretty easy, simple to use. I know some people were saying, oh, it's very difficult to navigate. No, it's not. You just need to know what you're doing. Pay attention, and you'll be fine. <laughs> cool. Pretty, pretty interesting. So with that being said, let's move on a little bit. Over to, let's talk a little bit about Black Friday. Black Friday is tomorrow. What? How are you not going to ask me? Son, you yeah, just yeah, talked yeah. about a whole bunch of Xbox One. Uh, like, that's so, like, <laughs> I gotta, like, that's all I want to talk about. It's a console, bro. Like, we got to talk about this shit because he was way nicer. He gave you early impressions. I'm going to give you, like, true... Xbox yeah. fan impressions. Okay, so then, yeah, tell us a little bit about, you know, the UI. Tell the us a little UI. bit about okay. the I games, some... you know, loading up and such. Let's talk, let's even talk about the marketplace. I heard that the marketplace went through a name change. Um, well, in the marketplace, uh, they haven't cut off into segments, so it's just apps, uh, music, movies, and TV, and uh, games. And what Microsoft is doing now is just game. they don't... Xbox Live Arcade is kind of done. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, on Xbox One, games are games are games. So every game is kind of equal to itself, whether it's an indie game, arcade game, whatever. So it's kind of just this all-in-one store for games or whatever whatever uh, media type of media you're looking for. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing about the store. And, and it runs great. I could find anything, and especially when you have, like, a search or... You know how Connect to navigate you through that. It's kind of easy. Um, as far as the UI, yeah, I do agree with Rich. It is easy, but it is annoying to find stuff uh, quickly that you want. I feel like they kind of took a step back uh, from what they were doing great on 360, which is you know you push the guide, it brings you up to that little to the little guide, and you can see your friends, you can see your party immediately. Which it it you can still do that stuff to an extent with Xbox One, but it just the time there it's it's too it takes too long, um, you know, because once you push that guide now, it kind of zooms out whatever you're doing, whether it's your show or your game, and now you're seeing um, now you're seeing um, now you're seeing your fucking uh, shit, man. Like a whole now bunch of options. Your, yeah, now you're seeing all your options and shit. Hold on, I'm being yeah. interrupted. And uh, see, there's a problem with video. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now, um, what I was saying, yeah, you see all those instructions where you have to click through this to get to friends and click through this to get to party, and that's just kind of a hassle. Um, even with the uh, even with Connect, I found like just little annoyances where you say Xbox go to friends it'll bring up your friends thing but it won't show you immediately your friends list uh, yeah. of who's on and stuff you gotta say okay friends again and then it'll bring you to friends um, so yeah that's just that's just a little annoyance that I have there's also other small annoyances like I don't know if you guys heard but uh, the controller battery indicator, so, you know, to find out, okay, my battery's about to die. They don't have that at all. So you will never know when your controller's about to die. Oh, no. You will oh, have no I, idea. I, they they got to patch that in. They have to <laughs> <patch>. <laughs> Um, what else don't I like? 
that was uh, one thing like um, that I, you know, we had. Yeah, I'll let you go first, though. All right. One thing I don't like the party system. Um, okay, now let's say me and Swift want to play uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. We're both in our lobby. I'm gonna invite Swift to my game. It automatically sends a party invite. Uh, but when and he'll join my party once he joins my game, and then we're partied up together. It parties us up uh, so that me and him can move around game to game together seamlessly. But uh, in order for us to talk, uh, we have to turn. We have to click on the thing that says "Turn on Party Chat" every fucking time, and that is annoying as hell. If I'm gonna invite Gary to a party with me, and he accepts, he should automatically be in my party chat. I should not have to push a button for myself and him push a button for himself to be in the party chat. So that's just that's just dumb to me. Like because then it'll it'll it could get confusing where I decided to put party chat on, and he didn't. And then I'm like wondering, I'm talking to Gary, hey, what the fuck? How come I can't hear you? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he can't hear me because he's not in the correct party or whatever, in the correct option of that voice command thing. But uh, that's really annoying. Um, and I can, it hasn't been annoying, that annoying for me because uh, I'm playing with somebody who fucking knows what the fuck you're doing. But I imagine when you're in a party with like five of your friends and, you know, it's, Things can occur. Uh, and then there's the other annoyances I have, but it seems like I'm talking too much. Yeah, the, like the, the one bad experience I had uh, with Carl when, when, you know, we was using it, um, we wanted to play Rise, so we put the game in, and it starts installing the game. And as you know, um, you're able to play the game while it's installing. You know, you're, you're able to launch the game. But when we launched the game... It then said we needed an update. So then it starts downloading the update plus installing the game off the disc at the same time. <laughs> Jesus, that sounds like it was a recipe for disaster. What happened? There's, there's like two little rise icons now on the dashboard or whatever doing two different things. Like, And so what I think it should do is it should check before it even starts installing, it should check if there's an update. And then, you know, it, it will download the update first, install it, and then you install the game off the disk. Like, that would make more sense. So, yeah, that yeah. was my bad experience with it. Because it took us, like, 15 to 20 minutes to get Rise working. I wow. can't really blame it that much on that uh, front. Um, because at that point, it's, like, kind of on you to keep your games updated or whatever. <laughs> And uh, and the and the Xbox, I, I believe it down it uh, updates games automatically while you while it's whatever while it's uh what's the what's the mode called just like in on in the background yeah, right. whatever standby yeah. Um, yeah but yeah there's the other annoyances one of them real quick I just wanted to name I feel like achievements they're kind of lame bro <laughs> <laughs> they're kinda, why are achievements they, lame why say that kind of made lame they, because like. When a, when you get an achievement in the game, you used to push the guide button. It takes you automatically to okay. Here's the achievement you got. Here's why you got it. Yeah. This one, you click on. You had to hold it in. For yeah, one. you have to hold it in. That threw me. It off. brings you. It brings you to the notifications where you put okay. Let me check what uh what the achievement was for, and then it brings up the achievement page, and then you gotta search for that achievement. It's like God, what? Why? Oh. Why did I do this? Just, and it's, I'm pretty it's sure a, maybe that'll come later down the line in an update or something. And yeah, yeah, and all this, all the things that I said, it could definitely all be updated, you know, probably yeah. easily, or maybe not so easily. But but some it, of it should just already be there, like yeah. And these are, and to be fair, these are annoyances for me who I spent like countless hours on the 360. So I know what I want for my Xbox. I know what I want from an Xbox experience. So I'm talking about just as a fan of Xbox, I know what I want. So these might not be like problems for just a regular consumer or whatever. But uh, well, yeah, there's also one little, little, little thing I want to, and this is the last one. When you get an achievement at the bottom, it tells you, okay, you got 
Jay Gold of Prince is five points. And then it comes, and then the little text scrolls, and it says, "Hold the Xbox button for details." If yeah. you look closely, the fucking letters that say "Hold Xbox button for details" is not even centered correctly. <laughs> that yeah. sounds like a little nitpicky. <laughs> and once you see it, no, but once you see it, it fucking annoys the shit out of me. It fucking annoys me. I want to choke somebody, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you could pretty much say that um, both systems aren't perfect right now, but you know, um, um, um I will, I disagree with that. But uh, go, let me just say ahead, this: Wait, disagree? which one's perfect? Yeah, which one do you think you is perfect? Both, both systems. You said both systems aren't perfect, as in terms of the software, right? Yeah, it's in terms of like UI navigation, you know, software. Uh, honestly. The navigation on PlayStation 4 is 10 times better right, from what I've seen so far. Wow. It looks to me, the, the Xbox One one looks a little bit jumbled up. Like, there's, like, so much going on in your face. Well, that well, that's the thing that Ed was talking about. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Um, I mean, like I say, I'm very early into my... So I'll, I'll talk more about it the next next show, but so far, I mean, it's not bad. It's great. Uh, some of the things that, that you were nitpicky about, Ed, I, I, I understand exactly what you mean because I don't understand how Microsoft could backtrack on so many things when they did so many things right with the 360. So I don't know. I don't get it. I, I think the updates, something. updates, like give you like a month or so watch. There's going to be like a series of updates for like a lot of those things, I'm pretty sure. But I will say one thing before you go to the next topic. It's, from what I've seen, it's not just the system itself. Them microtransactions and the people that's been talking about all the stuff with Forza, all this other stuff, that's a problem too. Um, so they didn't just backtrack on the software. It's the other business stuff as well. As well, we'll elaborate saying. on that a little bit, like specifically, like real quickly. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, okay. Now, I, I, now I haven't played Forza 4. I know Ed probably has, so he could talk more about this. Everyone was talking about the fact that that game, you started, it, there was about 500 cars in that game. Whereas in Forza 5, it's a lot less cars, and they charge you for every single car, that you for most of the other cars that you want. Um, I mean, there was a post made on the site today saying that, you know, Microsoft Turn 10 decided to give a discount over the next couple of days for people who want to buy the cars because so many people was angry about it. So the microtransactions thing is that's a little outrageous. Um, um, you, from wait. to my knowledge, uh, that stuff is is uh, like cars that aren't technically, I guess I don't know, technically not on the game. They're kind of just downloadable cars. Uh, oh, okay. But they are doing microtransactions, I believe, for like uh, credits. So like, let's say you want to buy a Ferrari that actually is on disc and everything. But you don't want to. You don't really don't want to wait and get all the credits to buy it. You can decide to, you know, do a microtransaction and get, you know, tokens or whatever, and then buy that car. Um, yeah. Same thing for Rise. Even Rise has microtransactions, so that like, let's say I just want to level up my warrior. I don't want to play the game for stupid reason. I don't know. But let's just <laughs> say I don't want to play the game. I just want the baddest fucking warrior ever. I can just decide. Okay, I'll pay twenty bucks. Give me all the tokens and stuff. And I just buy my shit. So I mean, in that regard, I really don't. I I personally don't have a problem with that type of microtransactions. Or in general, I have never seen a microtransaction that was appalling to me. Um, because as long as you can get that stuff, if you play the game, if you grind out the game, then to me that's fair game. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of weird that they're doing. I think that the you know, issue with that though comes with more competitive multiplayer. I think that's when that's when that be specifically becomes an issue because then when you're able to buy like weapons that are at least a little bit much more like top tier stuff or stuff that's going to give you a heavily advantage over everybody else because you able to pay off a little bit more while it's good for you in the competitive scene like that in the environment that's when it starts to cause issues with balance and stuff but if it's like for single player stuff I let Dead Space three a little bit then I can understand why like nobody should be really caring about it because it's that individual person's experience and they decided to. Just Spend the money on that specifically. Okay, same yeah, thing with Forza. 
or I mean, same thing with uh, USB, whatever. I think that's much more the individual person. If they choose to do that and they want to give Microsoft or whatever the, the amount of money to do so just so they could get a little bit further in the game, there really shouldn't be nothing wrong with that.